Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be talking about the new Mac OS. So the first thing that you guys have to do in order to get ready for it is making a backup using your time machine. So we're going to show you what time machine is right now. So on the top left hand side of your screen you will see the Apple logo. Just click on the Apple logo and then you're going to see system preferences. Once you open up system preferences down here on the bottom right hand side you will see time machine. That's something that's already built into your Mac. So here's time machine. And right now it's preparing my backup. I'm just gonna stop it so you guys can see what it is. So Time Machine is something that you guys can turn on to back up your Mac automatically. And what I suggest doing is having an external hard drive. So go ahead and right now buy an external hard drive if you don't have one, okay? That is if you care about your files. If you don't care about your files being wiped or, or just in general losing your files from your Mac, then don't buy one, don't use Time Machine. But if you do care about your files, right now, go and buy an external hard drive and set it up with Time Machine. I do have a separate video showing you guys how to set up Time Machine with an external hard drive and how to use any external hard drive. Doesn't matter what brand, it doesn't need to be an external hard drive from the Apple Store. It doesn't have to say that it's compatible with Mac. We can make all external hard drives compatible with Mac. And I have separate videos showing you how to do that. So something I do show you in the setup video as well is to put show time machine in menu bar. What does that do? Well, on the top right hand side, you're going to see this. See this right here? We can just go ahead and put backup now. So I can click on backup now and my time machine will start backing up my Mac. What does time machine do? Well, let's say I update to the new Mac OS and suddenly I see that all my programs are not working in the new Mac OS, or my Mac is just getting very glitchy or very slow. Well, with Time Machine, I can actually go back in time. I can go back before I actually did this, I did this update. So as long as I make this backup, I can make my Mac go back before I install the new Mac OS, and that way, I can always go back into the older Mac OS and everything would be fixed if there are problems with the new update. That being said, you guys can also retrieve files. Time Machine's also really great in order to transfer your entire Mac setup, your files, everything, programs into a new Mac. Kind of like an iCloud backup of your iPhone when you transfer everything from one iPhone to a new iPhone. Time Machine kind of works like that, but even better. So right now it's making my backup. Uh, 14 gigs that it's gonna right now backup. However, just make sure if you guys have a terabyte, for example, and uh, you're using up maybe 300 gigs of that one terabyte in your Mac, just make sure to have your external hard drive bigger than that. It should be at least 600 gigs, for example. So that way you can make a good backup of your Mac. Anyways, that being said, I do have another video showing you a little bit more about Time Machine and exactly how it works and how you can retrieve files and all that stuff using Time Machine. The next thing you guys should do is go into Finder Applications and then just look at the programs that you guys use the most, the most important ones, the ones that you have to have for your job or for your studies, whatever you guys do on your Mac. Just make sure those will work under the new Mac OS before you update. To do that, just go to the official website of each one of those programs and see what they say about the new Mac OS. Are they compatible? Will they be compatible? I know some companies are really slow and they don't update their stuff. However, other companies are, and I would say most companies are pretty fast and they're ready. Right before the new Mac OS is released, their apps are already ready, they're compatible, they work just fine. Other companies such as, I would wanna mention Canon, Canon has some apps, they are never ready. <laughs> they usually take about six months, so they're, they're really slow actually at updating their apps in order to work with the new Mac OS. So usually people that use Canon utilities in order to take pictures or do anything with their cameras, they find out once they update their Mac that, oh, it's not working, so they can't work with Canon anymore. Other than that, just look up YouTube videos actually of people saying, this doesn't work, that doesn't work with the new Mac OS. So you guys have a full understanding of what's working, what's not. And remember, if you do care about your files, you do care about your system, always have Time Machine running, so that way we can always go back in time, which I do have a separate video showing you guys how to go back from a new OS 
to an older OS before, but that's always using Time Machine. It's the easiest way to do it. Anyways, those are the two very simple steps you guys should follow for sure before updating to the new Mac OS. And that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.